Okay, let's talk about how to solve logical uh, equations. So I've got the equation here which is saying the square root of x plus 5 uh, is equal to 1 minus x. So you can pause the video and find the answer and then see the answer which we are going to find. Okay, so there we go. Uh, the first thing we should have to do is uh, we have the square root this side. There is nothing that we can do apart from squaring both sides. So what we have to do is we need to square both sides. So I have to square both sides. Why am I squaring? I'm trying to remove the square root. So this square and this one they are going to cancel. So we are going to remain with x plus 5 is going to be equal to 1 minus x squared. Okay. So this what we have here is the same as we have x minus x or 1 minus x then 1 minus x another one. So distributing this one, we can say that this is going to be like this. Then 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times negative x is negative x. Negative x times 1 is going to give us negative x. Negative x times negative x is going to give us positive x squared. Okay? So this is going to give us x plus 5 is going to be equal to 1 minus negative x minus x is going to give us negative 2x plus x squared. What I have to do now is uh, I have to shift everything here to the right hand side so that I remain with 0 this side. So I'm going to say that 0 is going to be equal to, I can say that 1 minus, I can put 5 here, minus 2x, I can put minus x here plus x squared. Okay? So what I have to do now is uh, before I, I wrap the question, let's put the question here. We have x plus 5 was equal to 1 minus x. Okay, so uh, from here now, we can say that this is the same as 0 is going to be equal to, we have 1 minus this one, we are going to get negative 4. Okay, we are going to get negative 4, then we have... Uh, negative 2x minus x, we are going to get negative 3x plus x squared. Okay, now what we have there is the same as I just put x squared minus 3x minus 4 is equal to 0. I've not changed anything. So two numbers, which when we do plus or minus, we get negative 3. Then we do times those numbers, we get negative 4. So if I get negative 1, times, uh, or if I get positive 1 times negative 4, and positive 1 minus 4, minus 4. So this is going to give me negative 4, which is going to be this one. Then this is going to give me negative 3, which is this one. So two numbers is, neg is negative 4 and positive 1. So these are the numbers which I'm going to put here. So it's going to be, uh, this squared, we are going to have plus 1, which is just x minus 4x minus 4 is equal to 0. We can fact out. Okay. We can fact out. We are going to find that x open brackets. We are going to have x here. We are going to have x plus 1 minus here we are going to have uh, 1 open brackets. Then we are going to have um, we are going to remain with with uh, here is supposed to be 4. The common here is 4. Then here we are going to remain with only x. So negative and there we are going to get a positive, which is going to give us 1 is equal to 0. So we have remained with x plus 4 and x plus 1 is equal to 0. So we can say that this is going to be x minus 4 is equal to 0 and x plus 1 is equal to 0. So we find the values of x we find the values of x we have x minus 4 is equal to 0 and x plus 1 is equal to 0 so we shift the 4 to the other side we are going to have x is going to be equal to 0 plus 4 then x is equal to 4 okay this one we shift that one is going to be minus 1 x is going to be equal to negative 4. After finding the values, we have to test. Okay? 
So we have found that x is equal to <coughs> we have found that x is equal to 4 and x is equal to what? Is equal to negative 1. So our original equation was um, was uh, the square root the square root of um, x plus 5 was equal to 1 minus x. So let's plug in 4. We see if we are going to get the same answers. So we have the square root of where there's x. Let's put 4 plus 5 is going to be equal to 1 minus. Here we put now 4. So we can see that here we are going to get 9. Here we are going to get negative 3. So 3 is not equal to negative 3. So therefore, this is not the solution for this equation. Okay, you are done. You also prove the other one. You see if it is going, it's going to be, it's going to be proved. So we have the x, which is negative one, plus five is going to be equal to one minus. We also have one. So we have this one is going to give us four. This is going to give us two. So here we are going to have two is equal to two. So this is the only solution for this equation. So this is how you get to find the uh, uh, the equations of the radicals. Okay.